A catastrophic and deadly volcanic eruption in Central America is affecting more than a million people. Guatemala's Volcan de Fuego, or Volcano of Fire, exploded just before noon yesterday. At least 25 people are dead. Authorities say an unknown number of people are missing and potentially trapped beneath the ash. This eruption spread thick black smoke and ash to the capital, Guatemala City. That's about 30 miles away. More than 3,000 people were evacuated. Guatemala's president last night called for a declaration of emergency. Don Daler is here with a desperate race to find the missing right now. Don, good morning. Good morning. Rescue operations are just beginning again this morning after being suspended last night due to the dangerous conditions. People living in villages near the volcano didn't have much time or warning to escape the lava flow. I want to warn you, some of these images you're about to see are graphic. The devastation from Volcán de Fuego was unrelenting. As hot molten lava flowed from the volcano's banks into small towns, people scrambled to escape. But for many, it was too late. The charred bodies of several victims were strewn lifeless on the ground. Thick black and gray ash blanketed entire towns. Hundreds of rescue workers rushed in to try to tend to the badly injured and help anyone still alive. But they struggled to reach some of the most rural villages. AP correspondent Sonia Perez is in one of the hardest hit areas. The firemen say they still hear people screaming, but they can go to help them because the mood is blocking the road. Not everyone from my family escaped, said Consuelo Hernandez, who ran to a hillside from the incoming lava. When asked if some were buried, she added, I would say so. <laughs> A high-rising volcanic mud flow destroyed this highway bridge as several people shot video. They bolted away as the molten rock got too close. Government officials hesitated to call for evacuations when the eruption began. They waited until lava began flowing down the volcano's banks to urge people to leave, about four hours after the initial blast. This eruption spewed ash and rock more than 32,000 feet into the air. Sunday's blast was the volcano's second this year and its most violent in more than four decades. The danger is not over. Officials fear the death toll will rise because so many homes are difficult to access. The country is already receiving help from other nations with deliveries of food, blankets and medicine. Nora. All right, Don, thank you so much.